Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to the read your reading for the week of November 11th. This week, we are going to jump right in here. You have this round around card and also this no place like home card. Uh, the round around card can just represent repeating something. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't repeat something, <laughs> uh, whatever it is. It doesn't matter what it is. You have the Knight of Swords. You know, sometimes I feel that the Knight of Swords, he's kind of, um, he's going this way, you know, it's, it's almost like he gets to this point in the reading, which is the three of wands, the point of expand, expansion in your reading, and he kind of turns around and runs back to the past, and I'm not talking about, like, returning to the past or whatever, but, as in, like, a person, but, you know, it can represent this type of energy is kind of like staying in a comfort zone. Three of wands requires us to go a little bit further than we normally would, you know, if we're kind of like working towards something or creating something, Three of Wands wants us to explore new ideas or new things. And so I feel like the Knight of Swords is saying, you know, don't turn around. If you're going in a direction, uh, you need to keep going in that direction and you need to accomplish something. It's like one of the, my favorite things that I've heard Esther Hicks say is that she talks about like when you're trying to manifest something, you don't go, you know, it's like driving on a road. If you're going to Los Angeles, new, from New York to Los Angeles, you just go down the highway. You don't drive from New York to Pennsylvania and then drive all the way back to New York to make sure you're going in the right direction. You just move forward, right? And I feel like that's what the Knight of Swords is saying. It's like saying, don't like turn around. You're going in the right direction and just keep charging forward. You know, Knight of Swords can represent making a hasty decision as well. And so I, I would say no hasty decisions this week and keep pushing forward. I kind of feel like the King of Swords is providing you with the knowledge and wisdom necessary to be successful. Not as King of Swords, sorry, has been through a lot of battles, and he has the most knowledge and wisdom out of all the kings, but he takes the things that he's learned and he puts them into practice. You know, that's where he gets the wisdom part of his knowledge and wisdom. You can know things all day long, but if you don't use it, then it really doesn't mean anything. So I feel like the King of Swords is saying, you know, make sure that you are using the things that you've learned or make sure that you're implementing the lessons you've learned from the experiences that you've been through. And I feel that will be the best thing for you. Uh, you have two aces right next to each other. You have the Ace of Wands. You have, also have the Ace of Cups. And um, two aces is a yes to any question that I haven't answered. And the Ace of Wands is like a passionate new beginning. It's out with the old, in with the new. So it's definitely time for a new life. You also have the Judgment card here. And Judgment is also out with the old, in with the new. We'll talk about that in a minute. But the Ace of Wands wants us to follow our inspirations. It wants us to move towards things that we think are exciting or that we feel inspired to do. It also wants us to release the past as well. So the Knight of Swords is saying like, don't repeat uh, you know, a past mistake basically with that uh, round round energy. And it doesn't even have to be a mistake. It can just say that you're staying in a comfort zone. With the Knight of Swords, we have the Knight of Swords. It's gonna be one of those readings here, Cancer. Did I say, I feel like I just called you Capricorn, but um, sorry if I did, but Cancer, uh, I feel for a lot of you, this is saying like, don't turn around, you know, keep um, pushing forward. So, you know, all, all your readings cancer get these repeating cards and I feel like you need to pay attention to that uh, with the king of swords you have the five of swords five of swords is a risk so five of swords can represent separation or like winning at all cost but I kind of feel this is you taking a risk mostly because of the three of wands that three of wands he needs to get on those boats and go on an adventure and it is a risk because those boats are going to a place he's never been before and so I feel that's like the type of risk you have to take with the Ace of Wands, you have the Chariot, you, showing up in a very strong position. Whenever you show up as yourself, you know, this puts you in a position of power and strength. He is leaving the city behind and behind. Everything in this reading is encouraging you to move towards something new. I mean, this, the Ace of Wands, even the Ace of Cups, the Three of Wands, the Judgment card, and you end with the Ten of Swords and the good stuff. The Ten of Swords is about letting go of the past. He needs to let go of his current situation. He is dead on the ground, and he needs to go through the transformation and get step into the new life. And so the Chariot, he is all about being in alignment. He has these stars in his canopy here. He has these moons on his shoulders, which represents as above, as above so below. And the reason he's going to have a victory is because he's in alignment with exactly what he wants. Uh, you know, his path is going to be a mystery. He has these two sphinxes here. They represent the mysteries of the universe. So it might not be exactly clear how you're going to how you're going to accomplish something, but that doesn't matter. No one, you know, no one who's ever accomplished anything knew what they were going to do. They just did it. So, you know, I definitely get that energy off the chariot. It's like you don't know, have to know everything. And even the three wands, 
you know, it's my card that says, what are you waiting for? And, you know, it's my card that says you don't have to really know what the journey is going to entail. You just have to start the journey. Uh, next, in the area of what's coming in for you, you have this Badger Spirit says, be fearless, be bold, which makes sense. Uh, you have this Vulture Spirit says, nothing is wasted. You know, the Vulture is about conservation of energy. You know, Vultures, they soar around in the sky, and they don't start flapping their wings until they, like, see food. So I feel for a lot of you that the Vulture is talking about, you know, taking your time and also, you know, saving your energy and waiting for an opportunity to present itself. And then you put energy into the opportunity. And that's what the vulture is all about. The badger makes perfect sense. I was going to say at the beginning of the reading, I'm surprised there isn't any fire cards here yet. Except, I mean, you do have the three wands and ace wands, but I'm, I'm more talking about like fire court cards because, you know, I think that with the three of wands, we have to be bold and assertive and courageous. So you have the three of wands. What are you waiting for? Cancer. I'll say it again. <laughs> the three of wands. He's looking at these boats on the ocean, and he just needs to get onto those boats and make something happen. I get a little bit of energy of like needing to be willing to be messy as well. And, you know, being willing to make a mistake. I, I can't tell you how many times, like every weekend, you know, I always talk about this. I teach classes about YouTube and I can't tell you how many people that are like starting their channel are like, oh, I, ha I have to make this video perfect because what if people see that it's not perfect? I'm like, no, you need to put out what you have right now because that's how you get perfect is practice. And I kind of feel that with the three wands, like whatever you're about to do, um, you know, whatever your goal is or whatever you're trying to achieve, I feel you need to look at it as practice. You know, we are not, I, I really think at school because school messed me up, right? And <laughs> I would say that I think school is like, oh, you know, you have to get this an A on this test, but like life isn't like that. You can be a D student like I was all, all through school and you can still be a winner and you could still be successful. So, um, you know, in a lot of ways, I think the three of wands is saying, just be willing to be a D student and just try, right? And that will be enough for you here, Cancer. Uh, you have the page of swords, uh, a lot of curiosity at the end of the year here. I'm kind of starting to wonder if it's all the retrogrades. We're going to have Mercury going retrograde at the end of the month, and we will have Mars going retrograde, a bunch of other planets are retrograde. And Page of Swords is all about your curiosity and following things that you're just interested in. And if you do that, you'll probably learn a lot and be more successful. But with the Page of Swords, I think you need to kind of embrace your curiosity and allow curiosity to be your guide um, because we are in a curious time where if you learn, you will be successful. Uh, you have the Ace of Cups. You know, this could be love as well with the Page of Swords. Page of Swords with the Ace of Cups could be a person that has a, their eye on you or you have your eye on a person, whichever it is. And the Ace of Cups could be like a love offer coming in for you. Uh, the Ace of Cups is all about flow. And, you know, I think flow is very important right now over the next few years. We really need to pay attention to the things that put us into the flow or make us feel like we are flowing. Uh, the more flow we can get into, the better our life is going to be. And that's always true, but it's extra true right now with the energy we have. We really have to make sure that the things that we're doing ca are either cause us to flow or this cup can reach down into this water and fill itself back up, right? So if you're doing, sometimes we have to do things that we're obligated to do, but I think what's important is that we fill the cup back up. So, you know, this could be like hobbies or spending time with people you care about, like what causes you to overflow. And I would do more of that with the Ace of Cups. I feel like I've been saying this all year. Uh, with the Three of Wands, you have the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, don't be afraid to allow people to help you. Uh, three of Pentacles, these people are lifting this person up. You know, they're, they are the ones that are kind of guiding him on the work. But he has done a good job. You know, this is a card of quality work, but they are assisting him in completing these three pentacles. So I feel for a lot of you that you need to, you know, allow people to assist you or help you on your journey with the three of pentacles. And I feel it'll be very helpful for you. With the page of swords, what do you know? You have the ten of swords. You know, I, I think this is something that you need to overcome. The feeling of the ten of swords is kind of what I feel like saying, as in, you know, if you've had failures in the past, we all have, <laughs> uh, then, you know, it's like, can you release the failure? Or it's not even that. It's like, you know, can you release the feeling of failure? You know, the need, the need for something to work or something <laughs> is popping into my head. I'm not really sure where that message is going here, Cancer, but, you know, it's almost like this could be something that's holding you back. I think you need to shake it off. You know, I think sometimes we the thing that stops us from uh, progressing is just, again, needing to not be perfect. And, you know, that's kind of the feeling I get from the reading in general. Uh, with the ace, And I feel like you will, by the way, because you have the Ten of Swords at the end. 
With the Ace of Cups, you have the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is resourcefulness or using your resources to create more success. So I think that uh, embracing your resources or using your resources is going to be very powerful for you. You know, the story of this card is that she's focused on what she has. She's not focused on like fears and anxiety, which this rabbit right here can represent. So she's focusing, you know, she's changing her focus to be about what she wants, not on what she doesn't have. And so I think your focus this week is going to be very important as well. Uh, next, in the uh, area of messages from your future self, you have this Nourish card and this Closure card. I, I feel you definitely need to nourish yourself as much as possible. So taking care of yourself, you know, self-care, things like that will be helpful. Some of you could be getting closure. I mean, that could be part of the problem here with the Ten of Swords twice is, you know, maybe you have a past situation that needs closure. It doesn't even have to be love. You know, this could be anything. And so some of you uh, could be getting the closure that you need to move forward. Uh, you have the hangman. This this is the one thing that make makes me feel different though. <laughs> is the hangman is the hangman. You know, the hangman, he's hanging in hangman mode. He sacrificed movement, the use of his arms and his legs, to gain enlightenment. And the hangman kind of says that you have learned as much as you're gonna learn about a situation. So if this is like a past person, for example, I think I said this in your last reading, now that I think about it, your November uh, bonus reading, it's like, do you really need the closure or could you just progress right now, right? And that's what I feel the hangman is encouraging you to do. It's like saying, you know enough, you have the king of swords, knowledge and wisdom, his head is glowing, he's gained enlightenment. And so I think it's time to, you know, take the leap of faith here with the three of wands. Uh, you have the judgment card. Uh, these people are standing in these coffins. The coffin represents their old life. Outside the coffin is their new life. It's like clearly you're being called up to something new. These people have already died, <laughs> kind of like the Ten of Swords, which you have here and then also here. I'm happy to see the Ten of Swords and the good stuff because, you know, it kind of says that you are releasing uh, something that has died in your life or you're letting go of something that you've been holding on to. So I don't really feel too bad about this. You know, I feel like this could be a good thing with that Ten of Swords energy, and, you know, I would just embrace it. Uh, you have the Wheel of Fortune, and the Wheel of Fortune is a change in your fortunes. You know, all three water signs have been getting the, the Wheel of Fortune quite a bit. So, Wheel of Fortune is a very good card, but I always say, yeah, it's a good card, but I think people make it out to be better than it is. So the reason I say that is because we just have to put a little bit of energy into the Wheel of Fortune to get it to spin in the right direction. And there's like a million ways we could do it. Some of my favorites are, of course, doubling down on the good stuff, but also when challenges pop up, uh, take care of the challenges right away. And if you do that, then you're taking control of your, your destiny with the Wheel of Fortune. All these signs, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo, around the card, have books in their hands. And the books kind of represent education. So education or self-education can also turn the wheel in your favor. There's also this snake right here. That represents your vibrations. Uh, but it also represents the fact that snakes are guardians of portals. So usually everything we want is on the other side of something we're scared of, right? And so we have to usually face a tiny little fear uh, to get something we want. It's like if we want true love, for example, maybe with this card and also this round round card, maybe like most people, we all do it. I do it as well. I'm far from perfect. Um, you know, we pick the same type of person, right? And the reason we pick the same type of person is because we know what we're going to get. We know how things are going to end. And But usually it's a little scary to get what we, you know, to be with a person that we really want because maybe we would have to grow or change or maybe we would have to learn something new to be with a person that's truly a good person. And the Wheel of Fortune says, face that fear. Uh, same thing in work or business. It's like many of us are afraid of success. And, you know, like, again, I'm far from perfect, even me, right? <laughs> I have those moments where I'm like, oh my God, what happens if I do this and I end up on the streets and I can't survive and I can't do this and I can't do that. And so I feel like the Wheel of Fortune says, you know, face those fears so that so that you can change your fortunes. Uh, with the hangman, you have the two of wands in the four of cups. Yes, uh, I'm rolling my eyes, so you probably could hear it with the uh, two of wands there because two of wands is very similar to the three of wands. kind of says, like, you need to get out into the world that is in his hands to get what you want. The four of cups is you being afraid of being disappointed again. You know, there he's been disappointed three times. There's that new cup reaching out to him. 
and it's a new offer, and it could be any type of offer, but I feel like you need to, you know, it's almost like you need to not give up. You know, it's almost like you need to try something again. It could be anything. I'm not even picking up on like one thing or the other. You know, I think it's different for all of you, Uh, but it's almost like you're getting another opportunity to, that could be disappointing, but it's not going to be disappointing. So I think you need to open up. Uh, with the Judgment card, you have the Seven of Cups. Yeah, Seven of Cups is about being spoiled for choice. I actually feel pretty good about, you know, personally, I like the Seven of Cups anyway, but, you know, I, I think that this could say that you are um, opening up to the world. You're getting more opportunities or there are more options for you at this point in your life. And, you know, the Judgment card just says, leave behind the past so that you can take advantage of the opportunities that present themselves. Uh, with the hangman, or sorry, the wheel of fortune, you have the page of swords again. <laughs> so more uh, repeating cards here. Uh, it wouldn't be a cancer reading without a million repeating cards. Again, this this happens to no one else, cancer. I, I can't even express to you how nobody else gets this many repeating cards in their readings, but it is interesting. Uh, like I said, to me, it's confirmation for your path. It says you're going the right direction. And again, I would be curious about the things that scare you. And we're, we're not talking about things that should be scary. We're talking about things that are just a little scary because they're a little scary, right? Uh, next in the area of the good stuff, you have this write a letter card. It says write a letter to your inner child. I think that would be a good thing for you to do. You have this card that says today is the day. It says it is time to begin your journey. Yes, now. J- take that leap of faith with the three of wands. Get, do it now. And I feel like the past 10 readings that I've done for you have all basically said the same thing. And so sometimes we just ha- there is no good answer. We just have to rip the band-aid off and we have to take a risk, right? And that's kind of the feeling I get with these energies. Uh, also in the good stuff, you have the Ten of Swords. Uh, Ten of Swords can represent a blessing in disguise in the good stuff. He's making this symbol right here with his hand that represents a blessing. And usually the blessing is coming from, um, you know, it's coming from uh, something not working in the past and he's realizing that it's a blessing in disguise. And that's kind of what I feel for you. It's like you're realizing that something that didn't work out in the past is a blessing because now you're hopefully getting something better. Uh, you have the Nine of Wands, which says don't give up for sure. So I think you need to not give up on something that you're working towards or that you want. The Nine of Wands also encourages experimentation. So the Nine of Wands is my card of throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks, which I think would be great for you. Just trying new things or uh, you know trying to do different things in your life would be great with this Nine of Wands. I feel that um, you know also having boundaries would be a good idea as well. I do think at the end of the year here, I would say until like March of 2025. I feel that water signs should be a little bit more selfish with their time. That doesn't mean you can't help people, but I think water signs should be helping themselves right now, uh, just just for right now. And then, you know, again, next year you can open back up. But I think there are just some things that you have to correct. And, you know, obviously if you have no time to correct those things, you're not going to correct them. Uh, you have the temperance card. I, I feel really good about this temperance card too. Like I feel like something you've been waiting for or something you've been patient for is coming into your life. So if you've been waiting or if you've been patient for something that you've been trying to manifest or create, it's like you're getting it with the temperance card. So again, I feel pretty good about that temperance card. Uh, With the ten of swords, you have the two of swords. Uh, Two of swords is like this or that thinking. It's like, what do I feel here, Cancer? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to say it. When I don't know, I just say I don't know because I'm not going to make something up. But, you know, I do feel like maybe something is going to turn out different than you think. You know, she's thinking this or that thinking with the two swords. But, you know, really what she is about to enter into is going to turn out like whatever is on this island. It's going to be completely different. So I maybe this is encouraging you to be flexible. Or maybe it's just saying that you are about to get something you want, four cups, you're getting this offer, could be anything, uh, but it's probably not going to go how you think. But I don't mean that like in a bad way, it's coming up in the good stuff, so probably a good way. With the nine of wands, you have the four of pentacles. You know, if there are, I will say that if there are things that you, like certain requirements in your life that you've had to get into place so that you can get to the next level, I do feel that with the four of pentacles. It's almost like, you know, I look at the four of pentacles as a foundational card. It's you building that foundation. And maybe now you have a more solid foundation. And, you know, this could be helping you do things in your life, whatever you want to do. Uh, with the Temperance card, you have the Seven of Wands, more boundaries. You know, we have two cards of boundaries right here. And so I think, ha- you know, approaching things with healthy boundaries w- will be a good idea. Both cards kind of say don't give up. You know, the Nine of Wands definitely says d- don't give up. And the Seven of Wands is a card, you know, I'll, I'll put it this way. The Nine of Wands is a card of perseverance. The Seven of Wands is a card of persistence. So I think you have to be both. 
you have this like card, can't make this up, and saying stepping into new experiences. Yeah, I think variety is the spice of life, as I always say to you. I think that new experiences contain everything that you want and desire. These new experiences could be a little bit scary, but I also think they will be great. You know, I, I always tell a story, like when I was younger, I, I had to do this like camp thing where I had to go away to camp. I'm a Pisces. I just want to be home all the time. I don't want to go to camp. I don't want to go anywhere, really, right? <laughs> and um, But I went, and it's like I hated it for the first like two days, but then I didn't want to leave when it came time to leave. So, you know, sometimes I think we it's like we don't want to do something that will make us grow but then we do it and then we we don't want to leave so you know i think i feel that for you you have this quill card it says get back to basics keep it simple um every single person for this whole entire year has had these messages of really keeping it simple and not overcomplicating things and that's what i would do here you know i think sometimes when we do too much we're saying that we're not enough so any situation that you approach didn't this card say that am i making that up yes i'm making it up but what i would say is you know any situation you enter into i think you just need to come as you are uh, you have this carrot that says opportunity or windfall. You know, with a carrot, all you're seeing is the green stuff. You're not seeing the good part under the ground. So again, two of swords, I kind of feel like there's more to the story and so some sort of opportunity that you could be getting. Like there could be more as you explore it or as you pull it up out of the ground. You have this peacock, it says, beware great pride. You know, again, Mars retrograde at the end of the year here. I would definitely be careful of cocky people, ego people, things like that, right? Uh, you have this ink pot, it says, problems to be resolved. This card represents small problems. And, and definitely with the Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Fortune wants us to take care of those little things that are happening so that we can live a better life. And that's what I would do here. But uh, pretty good here, Cancer, not bad. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.